When I was a teenager, I did some physical labor at the construction site. I could find there the discarded materials. Those materials were trivial for me. I gathered up them and built a shape of a robot. But it was just shape of a robot. I was not able to breathe life into it. After I came back from the Andes, I made up my mind to start making my dream robot. Although I didn't have nothing about robotics, I did some activity to get opportunity to work as a robot engineer. What I did is simple. What I did was visiting to a robot company and uh, telling them directly, I am ready to work with you for making robot. And luckily, I got a good reply from one company. Then, from then, I start study robotics by myself, learning that about seeing such as mechanical design and electric circuitry, software programming. A couple of years passed, I had knowledge about this thing. And then I could have a clear image what to do next. First, I made a company with friends to making for our dream robot. And uh, I decided we would make a friendly robot, such as Gold Lighten, as we wanted it to make people feel comfortable. So we designed it, it to be cute and carefully programmed its movement. We took this video in 2006, <laughs> please showing and uh, hearing uh, in my house. Thank you very much. He is good at roller skating, uh, skateboarding, and uh, <laughs> thank you very much. There were <laughs> as you see, uh, we made a prototype in 2006, but we didn't have enough money to manufacture. So, as always, I visit directly the, some company, and we, we could fi find uh, several supporters. With their help, we could start setting frame. And that movie, the skateboarding, spread all over the world. And the, it reached two million views in YouTube, and it became the number one movie in YouTube technology sector. After that, this, this movie, we got uh, many orders from many countries. And in those days, I was thinking about next step of our project. I was thinking about what would be the most important aspect for a friendly robot. I, was, I thought it should be whatever you made it by yourself. For example, would you be happy if you didn't know what kind of program was running in your robot? Some robot maker might put a back door inside their product. Such robot could damage 
damage the human society. And we decided to take next step. And uh, this is a new robot print. The, the concept of print is not only open source, but also printable. We said uh, printable open source humanoid. Printable means everyone can make they are humanoid by their hand with 3D printer. The movie, how easy you could make robot. You can download the 3D data from website, and you can make robot parts with your 3D printers. And it is free to arrange the color and the shape. Also, you can modify the software. The all parts is 3D printed, and uh, you don't need a screw. The, we designed it. The parts could fit each other. And we also offer the tool to programming easier for robot. This is motion editor. You can use motion editor uh, in your web browser. It means you don't need to install the software. I had uh, some classroom instruction with Print 2 in Japanese elementary schools. Print 2 is also nice educational tool since it is open source and printable. The student can access all information about robot and modify it without any limitation, since it is open source. And they can make the model what they want, since it is printable. The printable open source robot appear on, in front of you. Why don't you make robot? <laughs> I guess uh, you are ready to make robot with us. I to final to realize my final dream. Make new robots to accompany me on Mars. Thank you.